For this tutorial, you will need your selected yarn. I'm using the Millimia in Naturally Soft Aran and the yarn label suggests a five millimeter. So I'm using a five millimeter crochet hook, but just check your yarn label to see which corresponding crochet hook you need. You'll also need a pair of scissors and a darning needle to sew in your ends. Before I get started, if you don't subscribe to my channel already, I would love it if you subscribed to watch more videos. And also don't forget to click that notification bell in order to see my videos when they first go live. So here is an example of one that I've started already and I'm using the Shepsky's Whirl and it's working up beautifully. You can see that the colour fade is starting to happen um, around the edges here. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can start off your middle section. So the foundation for this is actually seven rows and then it's just a four row repeat. So I'm just going to show you that, um, then show you the repeat and then you just keep building and building and building and it turns out beautifully. So you want to begin by creating your slip knot and you can do this in whichever method you prefer. Go ahead and insert your hook and we're going to start off by chaining six. So that's yarn over and pull through for one, yarn over, pull through two, three, four, five and six. And what we're going to do is we're going to insert our hook into that very first chain and that will form a circle. So insert your hook, grab the yarn and pull it through and then you have your very centre circle which we're going to build everything from. We're then going to start off by chaining three and this is going to class as a treble crochet. So I'm talking in UK terms. In the US, this is known as double crochet. So we want to end up with 20 treble crochets into this very center circle. So this is classing as the first one. We're then going to go ahead and do 19 more. So for a treble crochet or a US double, we're going to yarn over, insert into that very center circle, grab the yarn, pull it through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through two. I am taking this loose end here and laying it down with next to this circle so that we're crocheting it in as we go along. So yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through, you'll have three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two, you'll have two loops on the hook, and yarn over, pull through two. So that is one, two, three, and then four, and five. And what you want to do is pause the video, work your way until you have done um, 19 trebles plus your chain three, which is your 20th, and meet me back once you have done that. So I've now done all 20 stitches. I would recommend that you always check that you have the right amount of stitches before you move on. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom um, into this stitch just here so that we can join the round. Now what I'm going to do is chain three, one, two, three, and this is the beginning of our round two. And what we're going to do here is actually double the amount of stitches. So we're going to do two treble crochets into each of the stitches. So this is classing as our first one. We're then going to go ahead and do another treble into that very same stitch. So if you just pull that slightly, you see this top of the stitch just there. So do a treble crochet and then we're going to move into the top of the next stitch. So yarn over, insert your hook into the top of that stitch and it will look like you have two loops on the hook there, but it's just the top of the stitch. Pull through, pull through two, pull through two. And then again into that same space. So that's pretty much it for this round. Two treble crochets into each of the treble crochets from the previous row and you're going to have 40 stitches in total. So go ahead, pause the video, work that round, and then meet me back. At the end, I'll show you how to connect and move on to our next row. So I've now done 40 stitches all the way round, and I'm going to connect 
my last stitch with my first stitch with a slip stitch and then I'm going to chain three and this brings us on to our third round. So for this round we're also going to do 40 stitches but what we're going to do, because if we just did 40 stitches all the way round, it would curl up. So what we're going to do is space them out with a chain one. So this is classing as our first treble, and we're going to go ahead and chain another one. So initially you're going to chain four, and then you're going to find the next stitch and do a treble crochet into the top of the next stitch. You'll chain one, and then do a treble into the next stitch. And chain one, and a treble. So you're going to do this all the way round. Again, you're counting 40 treble crochets. Pause the video, work your round, and meet me back once you've finished. So I've now worked my way all the way around. I've just done my last treble. I still need to do a chain one. And then this time, if you remember, we did a chain four at the beginning. So you want to find the third chain from the bottom, insert your hook into there, grab the yarn and pull it through for a slip stitch. And that is the end of your round three. And we're ready to move on to round four. So in your round four, we're actually going to start um, creating this into more of a square. So changing it from a circle to a square. So we're going to start off by building part of the corner. And to do this, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip this chain space next to that chain and work into the one after. And we're going to do a double crochet. So in the US that is known as a single crochet. Insert the hook, grab the yarn, pull it through. You'll have two loops on the hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. We're now going to go across the edge. So we're going to chain three, one, two, three. We're going to skip the next chain space and then do a double crochet into the one after that. And we're going to do that twice more. So chain three, one, two, and three. Skip a chain space and double crochet. And once more, one, two, three. Skip a chain space and double crochet. We're now going to do part of the corner again. So for the corner, we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, and five. Skip a chain and then do a double crochet in there. So that's one edge and two corners or part of the corners built. We're now going to go across the other edge and we're going to repeat that again. So chain five, one, two, three, four and five, skip a space and do a double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, skip a space and double crochet, chain three, one, two, three, skip a space and double crochet, and then do one more chain three, one, two, three, skip a space and double crochet. Now we're going to work part of the corner again. So chain five, one, two, three, four, and five, skip a space and double crochet. And you're now going to repeat that block. So rewind the video if you need to back into this um, chain five, work your way all the way around those next two sides and meet me back once you get to the beginning. So I've worked my way all the way around and you can see that it's starting to look a little bit more square-like. Um, I've just done my last chain five. So we're finishing on part of that corner, skipping one and then doing a double crochet into that very first stitch and you should find that it's the same stitch where you've got that um, chain five just starting to go, well it's into the top of this stitch but it looks like it's um, coming out of there. 
So now we're ready for round five and what we want to do here is because we're kind of in an awkward spot we're going to slip stitch into this chain five here so that we can start in that loop and we're going to go ahead and chain three and that's going to class as a treble crochet and in this corner we're going to want to have 10 treble crochets in total so we're going to do nine more in here so just to remind you of a treble yarn over insert yarn over pull through yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two so that's um, technically our second one so three four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And what you should find is that kind of creates a nice little fan. So now what we want to do is anchor down this treble crochet into this chain three. So we're going to do that with a double crochet. Remember that's a US single crochet. And then we're going to chain three, one, two, three, do a double crochet into that next chain three space, chain three, one, two, three, do a double crochet into that next chain three space and then we've reached the corner again. So we're going to do 10 treble crochets into this corner straight from this stitch here. So yarn over, insert into that chain five space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So that's one, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So that's one um, edge that we've done. If you turn your work so that you can visualize the next edge, uh, we have our chain five here, our three chain threes, and then a chain five um, here. And what we're going to do is exactly the same as what we've just done. So we're going to go straight ahead and do 10 treble crochets from this stitch into that next chain five space. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We're then going to anchor down that treble into that chain three space with a double crochet, chain three, and double crochet, chain three, and double crochet, and then go straight into our 10 trebles into that chain five space. So you're going to repeat that, um, finish off these 10 trebles and repeat that over the next two edges. Rewind the video if you need to, uh, but pause the video and meet me back once you have finished and reached this point here. So I've worked my way all the way around and it's time to uh, slip stitch into that very first chain. And then we're going to chain three to class as a treble crochet. So once you've chained three, we're actually going to do one treble crochet into each of these trebles. Um, so we'll have 10 in total. So this is our first one. And then you're gonna go ahead and do your treble 
into that next stitch and the next one so that's three four five six seven eight nine and then the last one is 10. We're now going to anchor this down into that chain three with a double crochet. We're going to chain three and then do another double crochet into that chain three space. And you'll notice that that kind of makes a little bit of a pyramid of chain three, so we've got three in one row, two in another, and then one in this one. And then we're going to go ahead and do our um, treble crochets into each of these stitches. Now it's really important that you check which one you're going into here. So if I pull these stitches apart, it's really easy to get a bit confused and go into uh, this one, but we don't want to, we want to go into this one. So as you pull, you've got the stitch and then you have uh, like the little V at the top and this is the space that you want to go into. If you're really not sure, what you want to do is count. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we want to do our treble into that space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So that brings us to the end of this side. We then want to turn our work so that we can work along the other side and it's exactly the same thing. So we're not going to do anything from this fan to the next fan, we're just going to go straight into doing our 10 trebles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We're then going to anchor that down into that chain three and before I move on, I'm just going to show you this. So that kind of connects two fans with one large fan. So that's the look that you want to go for. And that is what our corners are going to look like. So we've just anchored that down. We're going to chain three and then do a double crochet. And then you're going to go straight back in to those trebles. So remember, and pull this apart, make sure you're working into the right one. You're not working into the top of this double, you're working into this treble. So as you're looking at it, it's just at the side of it here. So go ahead and treble crochet into there. You want to count 10 trebles and that means that you have completed that side and then you're going to go straight into the next 10 trebles to complete the next side. So go ahead, pause the video, rewind it if you need to, you're going to build the next two edges and then meet me back once you have got to this starting point just here. So I'll see you in just a moment. So I've worked my way all the way round. I'm just about to slip stitch into that very first chain. So that's the top of that very first chain that we did. 
and that brings that round together. So now we're doing our seventh round and this is the end of like building our foundation and then from here we're going to repeat. So what we're going to do is chain three, one, two, three, which is going to class as a treble and then we're going to chain one because we're going to do a treble and a chain one in this round. So that's our first one and we're going to do this into every stitch. So treble, chain one, so that's two, treble, chain one, three, treble, chain one, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then we, when we get to our 10th one, we're just going to do a treble and no chain, because what we're going to do is we're going to skip all the way across into this first treble from this next fan, and then do our treble into there. So treble, again, making sure that you're going into the right one and not into the top of that double. So this treble just here. Chain one and treble, chain one, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 with a chain one and then continue all the way round. So you're just going to repeat what we've just done. So it's treble chain one, you're not going to do a chain one after your 10th treble, you're going to go straight across into the next fan and treble chain one. So you're going to do that along each of the edges, pause the video, rewind if necessary, and meet me back once you get to your last stitch. Right, so I've just gone all the way around and done those stitches and I've just done a treble crochet, chained one, and I'm going to um, slip stitch into the third chain from the bottom. Don't go into the top of there, you want to go into the third chain so that we still have a uh, chain space. So what we're going to do now is start the four row repeats um, and we're going to start off by doing our chains. Um, we're going to kind of create a corner on this corner and also because we kind of just have four corners at the moment, we're going to start building a fan section on the side and as your uh, blanket gets bigger, you will have more of these fan sections along the edge. I'm just gonna grab my other piece of work so you can see what that looks like a bit better. So here's what I mean by this. You can see um, that very first section there where we have two corners and then if we go up again you can see we have uh, corners and then a fan section in the middle just here and then if we go up again we have two fan sections and two corners and then up again we have three fan sections and two corners. So the bigger you get the more um, fans you will have along the edge. So we're going to start off by doing a corner and to do this we're going to chain five just as we did before. So that's four and five. We're going to skip this first chain and then do a double crochet into this um, chain space. Then we're going to do our three chain threes. So uh, this will be along this edge. So chain three, one, two, three, skip a space and then double crochet. And then chain three, one, two, three, skip a space and double crochet. And then one more, one, 
two, three, skip a space and double crochet. So the principle of this will always be the same. That's what you'll always do in a corner. Then you'll kind of um, meet this section where two fans join together. So regardless of whether there's just one um, it, on a side or three or 10 on a side, it will always be the same. So once you have done your three chain threes, we then get to this section here. And you can notice that we're in the second chain space up. So we've got a chain space, a chain space. You have a large chain space where we go from one fan to another and then a chain space and a chain space. It's really important that you're going into the right one. So it wants to be symmetrical. Um, and what we're going to do is chain five, one, two, three, four, five. We're going to skip a chain space, skip the larger chain space, which is connecting the fans, skip the first chain space, and then double crochet into that second one. We're going to chain three, one, two, three, skip a space, and then double crochet, and then do that twice more, so one, two, three, skip a space, double crochet, and then one, two, three, skip a space and double crochet. We're then going to do our corner section again. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to skip a space and then do a double crochet. So we've now worked our way all the way along that edge. You're going to turn your work so you can uh, remind yourself that you're going along the next edge and we're just going to repeat that. So chain five, one, two, three, four and five. Skip a space and then do a double crochet. Chain three, one, two, three. Skip a space, double crochet twice more, one, two, three, skip a space, double crochet, and then once more, one, two, three, skip a space, double crochet. Always make sure that that double crochet is finishing on the second space up from the center. Um, if it doesn't, then there's something that's gone wrong. So just check that. So we're going to chain five now, one, two, three, four, and five. And then we're going to skip that space, skip the large space where they're joined together, skip the first space, and then do a double crochet. And then you're going to go into your chain three and then double crochet again. So skip and double crochet. Chain three, skip, and double crochet and then one more chain three skip double crochet and then into the corner so chain five one two three four and five skip and double crochet so you want to pause the video rewind if you need to and repeat that uh, along your next two rows. So I've now gone all the way around and I am going to do my last double crochet in this space just here. And then this is actually like a repeat of row five. So uh, but obviously we've got the added section. So this is our second row of our four row repeat. And we're going to go ahead and slip stitch into this next chain five section and then chain three and that's going to class as a treble and we want to have 10 trebles in total in this section so this is one two three four five six seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. We're going to go ahead and um, double crochet into this next chain three to anchor that down. And then if you remember, we're going to chain three, one, two, three, double crochet, and then chain three, one, two, three, double crochet. And if you remember me talking about that little pyramid from before, so we have a three, a two, and the next one will build one. And then that brings us to where the um, two corners meet, and this is where we're going to build our extra uh, fan. What you want to do from here is yarn over and then go straight into your treble crochet. So that's our first one and then we're going to do nine more in there. So we'll have ten in total just like our corners. So that is three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. I'm going to anchor this down into that next chain three with a double crochet, chain three, double crochet, chain three, double crochet, and that then brings us to our chain five, which we're going to do our 10 treble crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So at this point, we've done our side section, so our corner, our edge, and our corner, and then we're going to go into the next um, edge of the square, and we're just going to repeat that. So obviously we started with a chain three, so we wouldn't do that. We'd start off by just going straight into our treble and then do nine more trebles. So pause the video, do the rest of your square, rewind if you need to, to this very first starting point, but otherwise go all the way around and I'll meet you back at the very beginning. Okay, so I've just finished this round and I'm going to go ahead and slip stitch into this very first stitch. Now, frustratingly, I've actually nearly run out of this colour, um, so I'm going to have to change colours to continue with the tutorial. However, I do want to stress that I would not normally change colour at this point. Um, the best place to change colour is at the beginning of your repeat round, so it would be these chains here, it would have been two um, chains back, but that would mean me having to go backwards undo my work and refilm the tutorial. So I'm going to change colour here, but as I say, I stress, I wouldn't normally change colour um, at this section. Okay, so here I am with this new colour and I'm going to start off by chaining three and this is going to class as a treble crochet. And for this round, we are going to do one treble into each of the trebles um, of our fan. So we'll have 10 in total. So this is our second, uh, I'm just gonna put these threads out of the way. So just remember, pretending that I haven't changed color here. Um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So we want to anchor down that fan into that chain three. So we're going to do a double crochet. We're going to chain three and then do a double crochet. 
and that is the final one of our little pyramid and then we're going to go ahead and do one treble crochet into each of these next trebles of this fan two three four five six seven eight nine and ten we're going to anchor this down chain three double crochet and then go ahead and do our trebles into every treble of this fan. So we've now reached this corner and remember from one corner to the next we just kind of um, glide into the next side. So um, although we have two fans in the corner here, this will actually connect them and create one big fan. So I should just be coming up to my 10th treble here, which is there. So that is one um, edge. And then you will continue onto the next edge, repeating exactly the same as what we have just done. So go ahead, pause the video, work your way all the way around, and I'll meet you back once you're ready. Remember, rewind the video if you need to. Okay, so I've just come to the end of this uh, round. So this is the third of the four row repeat, and I'm just going to slip stitch into the top of that chain three from the beginning. And then what we're going to do is we're going to chain three, and that is going to class as a treble crochet and then we're going to chain one and that's going to class as a chain because what we're going to do now is treble crochet into the next stitch, chain one, treble crochet into the next stitch, chain one and into the next one, chain one, so that's one, two, three, four, five, chain one, six, chain one, seven, chain one, eight, chain one, nine, and a chain. And then on our 10th one, we just do our treble crochet and then we are going to go straight into the treble crochet from the next fan. So one treble, chain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when you get to your 10th one, you don't do a chain one after. You're simply going to go straight across into the next treble. and then do that all over again. So treble, chain one, treble, chain one, treble, chain one. So you're going to go all the way around this corner doing that exact same thing until you get to your last treble and then you're just going to repeat it. So you want to pause the video, work that, um, that round and meet me back once you're ready and I'll show you how to finish off. Okay, so I've just completed that round and what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert my uh, hook into the third chain from the bottom. So remember we did chain four at the beginning of this round 
and slip stitch. And that completes the um, four row repeat. So we have the section where we're doing our chains, so chain five, chain three, chain three. Um, then we have our fan section, we have the larger fan section, and then the row where we are doing chains in between. So this is the part where I would change my yarn colour if I hadn't have run out um, instead of where I did. So it would be on the where we did the five chains. So if you were to do that, all you would need to do is grab the yarn, pull it through, snip off your yarn, and then go ahead and insert your colour. I'll just use this one for consistency. So I would go ahead, insert my hook into the top of that chain. And if you watch my videos, you will know that I always love to knot my work just for peace of mind. <clears throat> you would go ahead and bring that through and then you would start with your chain five for that round and just chain as you would. So there you go, that is how you do the virus blanket. I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to rewind the video and get the instructions for the repeat if necessary. But if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my latest videos. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you again in my next video. Bye.